Thing. Just a standard baby reborn. Thing. Just a standard baby reborn. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And well, 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 the long, long, long awaited meet and greet of the super famous Ingham family with their incredibly vulnerable iFam is set to finally go ahead this weekend. Been finalizing some really uh, exciting things for next weekend, which is our Mila Reborn doll meet and greet event in York. So anybody that's coming to that, can't wait to see you guys. And um, thank you so much for, for you know your purchase of Mila and your support with Mary Shortle and and ourselves. But yeah, it's going to be really good next weekend. So not this Sunday coming when you're watching this. Exactly one week. So next Sunday in York. And uh, and if you don't know about it yet and you've got a Mila Reborn doll, then make sure you hit up Mary Shortle and um, get your place reserved because it's going to be really good. It's going to be a really really good event. So very excited for that. It's been a long time. It's been it's been three years since we did any type of meet and greet event. 2020, early 2020 before exactly three before the world went crazy. And after the last meet up. The highly controversial Jace Reborn Tea Party non-tea party event of three years ago. This one promises to be the stuff of legend. I know how you feeling, man. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you ready to meet a load of people? Yeah. Getting pretty dressed. Yeah, yeah. Pretty just getting a little tutu on. Oh, <laughs> if she gets to come home with us tonight, I can't wait to show the real Prinny. The Prinny. The real Prinny. The Prinny. The real Prinny. The Prinny. The Prinny. Yeah. All of it, maybe it's all. Yeah. So I'm coming home tonight. So just before, we've got 25 minutes before the meeting group officially starts. And um, people get let in, in groups, into the shop to come and have a, a browse around all the new products, because we've got a lot of new products launched on the iPhone store. <laughs> Obviously we've got Prunay, we've got some baby me stuff here, we've got all sorts going on downstairs. So people are getting invited into the shops in groups to come and have a look before the event starts. And I, I really want to bounce down and say hi to everybody right now, because I can just hear like, no. it's loud downstairs. Come on, Prin. Should we go say hi to everybody? Yeah. Come on, Prin. Let's go meet some people outside, man. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hi, yeah. What's up? How's it going? Hello. You all right, guys? Have you met Prinny before? <laughs> Do you want to see Prinny? We've already pre-ordered Prinny. You've already got her? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much. You all right, guys? He's, he's upstairs. He's asleep at the minute, but he'll be, he'll be awake and walking all over soon, for sure. <laughs> Who doesn't want to meet the famous Ingram family, right? So it's not about being famous, mate. You're not famous. So, we can expect cakes and even the odd Kipling lemon drizzle slice. Don't know about you, but my mouth is drooling at the prospect. Will it be an orange or black currant fruit shoot? That's the question. The possibilities are endless. Nearly 15 months have elapsed since the announcement of this meter. So another optional extra that you can purchase if you want to with your baby Mila doll is a ticket to come to a really special meet and greet to meet us, the Ingham family, and the real baby Mila. This was something that we were able to include in the price of Baby Jace last time. However, we didn't feel like that worked as well and was fair on everyone. So basically, the price of Jace included the ticket and that meant that everybody could come. However, some people weren't able to make the meet and greet. So they weren't able to come for various reasons, health reasons. There was people that lived too far away. There was people that had commitments. There was people that just couldn't come for a different variety of reasons and we didn't feel like it was fair that they'd paid as part of their doll package to come and meet us when they weren't able to and so we thought a fairer way to do it this time was instead of including the meet and greet in the price we'd have it as an added optional extra so instead of doing Mila for the price that would include the meet and greet we've split it so that you can have the option to add on the meet and greet if you want to come or if you know you can't come you live too far away you have anxiety or don't like being in big spaces that was a main reason for quite a few of you guys who couldn't come to the Jace meet and greet and um, you don't have to pay the extra to do that. I do want to make very very clear that we're not making money from the meet and greet. We've merely deducted the amount of the meet and greet ticket from the original price of the Mila doll. But if you do want to come, then you will receive a gift bag worth more than the price of the ticket to come and meet us. So you'll be getting the whole of your money back in the 
what's the word, in the way of a gift bag when you come to the meeting. So much has happened in that time. Trips to and from Scotland, from Europe to Disney, Norway, et al. They've certainly kept us entertained since the first Mila Doll was produced way back in January 2022. Babe, pass me a Mila. No, not that one. Oh. Not that one. This one. Oh my goodness, my little Mila Mila. With views dwindling by the day though, question is just how many who bought the doll are still watching and would be remotely interested in meeting their former heroes. So, shall we overlook the highly dubious and potentially illegal practice of selling tickets to a meetup at an undisclosed location on an undisclosed day at an undisclosed time surely trading standards would have a field day with that one how about the extremely dubious nature of meeting up in a secret location with a youtuber whom you do not know safeguarding issue anybody Perhaps a safeguarding issue for the kids who meet Chris and Sarah. Not to mention, of course, the the fact that Inghams are inviting unidentified strangers to meet their young children. Some of whom clearly have such an obsession with them that they have even purchased lifelike dolls of them. If that doesn't scare you, then... Well, there's always the Spice Girl dolls, right, Sarah? And actually, not much different to when I was a young girl, eight or nine years old, and I wanted to go out and my mum buy me the latest Spice Girl doll because I loved the Spice Girls and I wanted a doll that I could take home and play with. This is no different. This is a doll that represents Jace, that our fans, our followers, the people that love us, have the opportunity to purchase if they want to, and take home. It's no different. How about the very real issue with a family all of whom have very recently been violently ill? Basically it was just like flu. So shivers, fevers, everyone had different symptoms didn't they really? Yeah. Isabel's symptoms were different to Esme's and Isla's and then the girls had it for like two days and then they all felt better. No she's not gone out yet sweetheart. And um, then the girls felt better and then like two days later it's like they got the virus again and then they felt really bad again but it's basically like headaches, shivers, fevers, body aches and that's it really. So it's basically just like fevers, aches and pains and exhaustion, like bad, ex bad fatigue, tiredness. Covid, flu, who knows. And to meet up with children and vulnerable adults so soon after such a sickness. And we watched shows two and three yeah. when we were at home, ill in bed, dying. <laughs> Let's just hope there's no babies in the room. Other than the fake scary ones, of course. But that's not all though, is it Chris? No. And Sarah? No. uh uh and not forgetting the ever-lovely Vicky Twattle. Oh dear, what have you three done this time, isn't it? I know, I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, well, let's, let's w wind the cogs back a little bit, think about what have we done, what have we done, what have we done? I know, I know what you're thinking, Chris. So, am I to understand that you the recently COVID-ridden family are entertaining a cancer victim within the meetup. Is that true? Tell me honestly, Chris. Is this true or is it just a rumour? I know the truth, but what do you know? Imagine charging £324 minimum to someone who is clearly suffering in life with such a horrible condition, taking advantage and then as a side order offering of potential COVID. 
So it's basically just like fevers, aches and pains, and exhaustion, like bad, ex bad fatigue, tiredness. Just when I thought you couldn't sink any lower, you scrape the barrel this time. Not for the first time, let's be honest. How about even charging your fans to meet you in the first place? How entitled do you have to be to think anybody should be paying for the privilege of meeting Princess DeLong of Seacroft? £25 a ticket. £25? Who are you? The qu <laughs> The king? However, you can't buy a ticket without spending a minimum £299 on a dolly. No YouTuber or influencer would even dream of charging their fans for a meet and greet. Yet, Chris, you do. But wait, you've put the day and location out there for everybody to know about. Bit late now, Chris. It's no longer available for purchase. Idiot. So what's to stop hordes of fans turning up to meet you without a ticket? Ticketless fans even. Would you turn them away? They travel miles upon miles upon miles to meet up with the Inghams and you turn them away. Would you do that? Interesting question actually, Chris. If this was any other huge YouTuber... For instance, Logan Paul, KSI, Jake Paul, even bloody Daddy Paul. If they said they were having a meetup at a certain time and place, you better believe they would expect fans to turn up. Or are they the ones who are wrong? Perhaps they are the ones without the business sense? Perhaps Logan should start exclusive ticketed events like the famous Ingham family indeed so the event is going ahead we all had it down we ha all had our money on it not going ahead I'd be very interested to know just how many people actually turn up how many fans do you have left there are some apparently and I for one must admit my shortcomings i was wrong i thought maybe you'd saw the couple but it looks like maybe you've sold a few more than that so good luck with that chris good luck with them um, getting well and not passing things on to the vulnerable that you're about to meet up with and um Keep your kids safe as well, by the way, because as previously mentioned, you don't know who's going to turn up. You don't know who's bought tickets. And please don't tell me you've verified every single person that's bought a ticket. I mean, I know that kind of goes against what I'm saying about keep, keeping your kids safe, but I think there's some sort of privacy issue. If you sell something to somebody, you can't go, like, Googling them and, like, checking out their facebook and stuff like that i'm almost certain that's illegal so <laughs> so just please don't tell me you've done that and um i'll be covering this again after the event so please remember to subscribe to the channel and i'll bring you all the, the latest news as we get it good luck everybody take a deep breath comment everything you want to comment down below because i know you all have very good opinions on this and i'd like to hear them until next time have a good one have a good day bye bye